So one of my favorite quotes is Joan Rivers, and she said, um, I'm not going to get it exactly right, but basically, it doesn't get easier, you get better. And um, I can tell you after the year that I've just come out of, that is absolutely true, and that you are capable of so much more than you know or you think. Um, we are capable of doing so much and enduring so, so much and working together and getting through it. And, and that quote actually, um, I, I don't know, I think about it almost every day. So I'm 42 years old. I started, that's only important to you guys because I want to tell you that I started making ice cream when I was 21. And so that's half of my life. Um, and really, like, I can't even almost remember anymore when I was not making ice cream every day or thinking about ice cream constantly. In fact, I'm thinking about ice cream right now. There's like a light in my head right now in the back. It's always on. It doesn't matter what I'm doing if I'm sleeping. There's like this little person at a desk there and the little light's on and it's, it's, uh, it's working through some ice cream challenges or problems or whatever. Um, I started, um, you know, I wanted, so I started when I was in a, a, studying art at, at Ohio State University, art and art history, and working at a French pastry shop. But I really wanted to be a perfumer. And um, I was trying to figure out how to make that happen because, I mean, I had never taken a chemistry course um, ever, not even in high school, and uh, n just really no idea how to make that work. So I started making, um, blending my own perfumes. And then I had this idea that I would use ice cream as a carrier of scent. And so, well, because if you're a perfumer, you're using um, either a, a fat that melts at body temperature or below um, to carry the scent that you're going to then rub on your skin, or a high-proof alcohol. And butter fat just happens to have that perfect consistency for a perfumer. It melts two degrees below body temperature. And we all know that when you put butter next to something, it absorbs the scent. So that was how I got into ice cream. I was making uh, this edible scent, took it to a party, everybody went nuts, and six months later I started my first business. It was called Scream Ice Cream in the North Market downtown. Uh, the North Market is where I learned everything else. So once I started ice cream, I didn't know what I was doing at all. Um, thought I was pretty good actually before I started, realized pretty quickly how bad I was at making ice cream and how awful I was at service and, and even worse at accounting and other things too. Um, but being in the market, and I ended up being there in two different businesses, four years with Scream, then I opened Jenny's in 2002, and I was on the ground there making ice cream, serving people um, over the counter for eight, eight years total, and then beyond that, everywhere else. But um, just absorbing what was happening in the market, the farmers coming in, the, um, the service that other merchants were giving their customers, um, the displays, everything I know about food, everything I know about business, everything I know about community came from that place. And what we did when we started growing was we just took that and made it bigger. And so we think about our company as a community. I say company is community. I love the word company. It means you're not alone. Um, I say that 50 times every single day. Company is community. And our community, our company, um, our community is our growers and makers and suppliers and producers. Um, actually, many of the same farmers that we've worked with for almost 20 years, um, just growing slowly with them from honey to strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, black raspberries, other berries, pumpkins, sweet potatoes, sweet corn. Last year, it was like 125,000 ears of corn um, from these same farmers. Um, but also now, we can take that even, even out of the country, so we can work directly with our um, vanilla bean grower, our chocolate suppliers, um, our coffee, we can go direct or within a couple of degrees of separation. And that's kind of our mission, is sort of growing this community, this company as a community. The community also includes our customers. Um, and so every time we make a new ice cream, we're listening to the feedback so we can keep tweaking forward. Because our um, sort of slow burning mission, which we don't usually talk about until this year externally, but it's just to make better ice cream every day. And really it's just about getting better every day all the time. Um, and so we're sort of tweaking everything forward. Um, another one of my favorite quotes, and some, for some reason I'm just like interjecting this right now. Um, I have no idea where we're at in time. Okay. Um, but so this is great though. I'll, I wanted to finish with this other quote because it, it goes back to what you were saying too, and I love this, and that is um, Ricky Gervais, nobody else knows what they're doing either. And um, it's, really, it's really true. So you might as well go your own way, make, build your own community. Entrepreneurship is building your own world. If you don't sort of in or if you can't figure it out otherwhere, just build your own world, right?